So this is the story of how I managed to actually find out that someone had recently passed away or this crazy character had died. Now, I was literally just exploring this standard Minecraft world when I noticed this Minecraft village. Now, what was interesting about this village was that this actual village had a very unique structure to it. You see, most Minecraft villages don't have that many structures in fact lucky if you do receive certain structures in the game such as a blacksmith village because it is known not to constantly spawn and sometimes you may even only have around three different houses now at the start i was definitely quite confused i didn't really know exactly what to do as it was simply a new world but i knew that if there was something going wrong in the world that i would have to figure out exactly what was going on so i decided to make some very 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 boring tools now the tools were just wooden at the start but it wasn't the tools that confused me it was once i got through the tools i figured out exactly what had gone wrong so i decided to pick up all my materials and then head off to a nearby place once i headed off in the craft world i then realized exactly what i saw and what i saw definitely scared me you see at first i didn't really exactly understand what i was even looking at because this character that I'd seen wasn't one that I'd usually been familiar with. It definitely was a very, very, very confusing character. As you can all see, the green body simply laid there along with a police officer and a villager standing next to it. it definitely was one of the most confusing scenes I'd ever seen, especially since this character hadn't recently been identified. So I knew that I had to make sure that I could figure out exactly who this character was and exactly what had happened to it. On first inspection, I didn't really see too much wrong with the character. I mean, it, of course, it could have been anything that could have been wrong with him. It could have been 10 different things. But at the same time, I just wanted to see if the character was alive at all. The village that was nearby definitely did seem to understand the gravity of the situation, especially since he was a police officer, which I could see by his shiny little badge. Now, it definitely was quite scary, the fact that this character had somehow died and nobody really knew what was going on. So I knew that I needed to simply figure out exactly how on earth this character, whoever he was, whatever he was doing, had managed to pass away. So I decided to first of all read the sign that was nearby, and it read as follows. A crime was committed yesterday. Jumbo Jack was destroyed somehow. Please make sure that if you are near the village, you are super careful not to get killed also. It definitely was quite interesting to note that this character's name was Jumbo Jacked. And I then realized that this was the character from the newly popular series, The Garden of Banban. Now, it definitely was quite scary, but at the same time, I knew that if the Garden of Banban was something that was going to be popular in the coming weeks, I knew that I needed to get my grips to figure out exactly who this character was. So I decided to ask this villager exactly what was going on because maybe, just maybe he had seen something and it just maybe he knew exactly how this character had passed away. So I asked him, he greeted me with a talk to him a little bit more and he said, I'm not exactly sure what on earth happened. And I was thinking the same exact thing. I mean, I didn't know exactly what happened, but somehow something somewhere weird had happened. I then asked him a bit more and he said, I just literally got here. I don't know what on earth went wrong. So I was guessing that this villager simply probably had nothing to do with this crime and probably was just a farmer villager that somehow had stumbled upon this kind of scenario so i then questioned him further and he said you'll have to ask someone else i don't even know what that thing is and of course this made sense because this creature was a very new one so this person not knowing exactly what it was and this villager looking very strangely confused definitely was very cool because at first glance it definitely does look like some kind of alien but the X's in the eyes show us that it was dead. So I then of course asked the next person in command because I knew I needed to figure out exactly what was going on. So I decided to talk to the villager. At that point, another random villager came over as if he wanted to try and stop me. I decided to back off for a little bit because I didn't know exactly if that was the intention, but I knew I needed to get to the bottom of this mystery as quick as possible. So I questioned him and he said, this is a crime scene now, sir. Let me know if you see anything and I need to understand exactly what has happened here. And if you see anything, please report it to the police station. So I knew at this stage, whatever had gone on here was definitely quite dangerous, but at the same time, it was also something that was quite interesting. So I knew I needed to figure out exactly how I could solve this scenario without getting any dangerous things. So he did say if I found anything, I should report it to the station. But at the same time, I didn't know where it was. I asked him and he said, it's back where you came from. So I decided to walk back to where I came from and see exactly what was there. 
and as luck would have it, I managed to find the police station. So as you can all see, it did say report crimes here, and it also did say police station and villagers only. Definitely was quite interesting to see exactly what was inside the police station, as I'd never been in a Minecraft one before. Currently, when I went in there, we had many different suspects. As you can all see, they did look pretty dangerous. Some of them had scars in their eyes, and they were distinctively marked in their orange clothing. Definitely was quite scary. So I decided, why not go outside, build a pickaxe, and see if I could actually talk to some of these guys. Because that way, maybe I could figure out exactly what was going on. So I decided to put my pickaxe down, and then go back inside with my head held high. I decided to talk to suspect one first because maybe he knew exactly what happened to Josh. Is it villager? He greeted me with a hello. He then said, I might be a criminal, but the only thing I ever did was steal. I didn't touch that green thing. That green monster, I've never seen him before. So it was clear that this green monster was going to require more information as many of the villagers didn't even know exactly what i was talking about this villager told me that sternly that i needed to ask someone else so i decided why not go ahead and ask someone else because likely they're going to know exactly what has happened so i decided to then ask the other villagers exactly what has gone on and he said i might be a criminal but the only thing i ever did was steal so it was clear that they were all sticking to the same story i then decided to speak to the last villager and he told me something a little bit different that was quite interesting but still didn't lead me to some very good clues he said, I don't even know what happened. I'm innocent. I need to be freed. Ask someone else. So it was clear that whoever was arrested was the wrong people because they didn't seem like the kind of people that would destroy a green thing even if they didn't know what it was. So I knew that now I had to figure out exactly what was going on in this village and I needed to talk to the village scientist. So as luck would have it, I was looking around and at first I didn't really see exactly where the village scientist was. So I knew that I needed to ask as many people as possible. But then I managed to find a trap door in the church, which is an unusual place. And as I went down there, then I found out a lot more information as especially I could figure out exactly what the characters were up to. That's when I got my first eye on the screenshots of the character and I could see all the familiar faces. It was definitely very interesting. I could actually see Ban Ban himself, the Oplex bird, and then of course Jumbo Josh and the other characters too. I then asked the scientist exactly what on earth this all meant and he told me this. This creature is fairly new. There could be some clues and I don't know what they're doing. So pay attention. So it was clear that he meant that this image that he'd crafted from his inventory was to give me some clues and I knew exactly what the character looked like when it was awake so maybe perhaps there was some way to figure out exactly what was going on. I knew now that I needed to somehow locate the culprit because all we had was a very very sad and dead Jumbo Josh but we didn't have any culprits so I decided to look around towards the edge of the village to see if there was anyone nearby and if there was anything else that I could muster up. So whilst looking around, I decided to look inside every single house and talk to all the villagers. That's where this guy came in. He said, I actually saw the crime take place. The bird stole some items from the guy and it was actually pretty dangerous. You should be very careful. It's scary. So we now knew that Oplex the bird was the one who actually did the crime. And all we needed to do now was to find out where she was. The only problem was we had no idea on where this person was. So it was now a mission of finding out exactly what was going on at night time. So I was scurrying around and I noticed that the village was actually split into two different parts. There was a lower part and there was a part that was above this area. So I decided to get my inventory and then go up as high as possible to see exactly what was going on. As I made my way up to the different levels of the village, I realized that there was a lot more here than first meets the eye. There was a little secret cabin at the back and I didn't realize it at first, but luckily it had a distinctive color and that was how I managed to see it. I instantly approached the secret place and then once I got to the edge, I managed to see the actual bird sitting down. Now, I definitely didn't realize if he was guilty or not, but something was definitely strange. When I looked in his inventory, I realized that there was actually a gravel block there, and there was also some redstone dust on the ground. Now, I asked him exactly what was going on, and he said, hello. Nice times we are having. I've done nothing wrong. Trust me. Hello. And that was all he said. I then decided that I might as well open up the chest in the secret area to see exactly what was going on. And what he was hiding was a golden sword and some emeralds. At this point, I knew immediately that it was him who had done this crime because Jumbo Josh always carries a golden sword with emeralds with him. So now I knew that I needed to destroy him as quickly as possible. And 
It definitely wasn't easy, but somehow I did manage to get the better of this criminal and put him behind bars along with the police officers. The fight was definitely hard, but once I destroyed him, he definitely was immediately teleported to prison and luckily Jumbo Josh's killer was apprehended.